So the last show I saw on Netflix is Inventing Anna, and it's by, it's a Shondaland production, and um, I actually was keeping up with the Anna Delvey story as it was happening and as she was going to trial. So when I found out that Shonda Rhimes was going to be doing a show about Anna Delvey, I was really curious to see it. Um, It's not quite what I expected. The reason why, I thought it would be true to what actually happened, so... Um, at the beginning of every episode, they let you know that um, everything is not necessarily uh, true life, that some parts may be made up. But I just wish I knew which parts were made up and which parts weren't real. Um, overall, the story was told very well. The acting was on point because Julia Garner really embodied Anna Delvey. There's not a lot of videos that I've seen. I've only seen a few of Anna Delvey actually talking. And I think that uh, Julia Garner did a great job of capturing that accent because it's tricky because it's like a hybrid of a few different accents. Um, So that was great. But then also I had compassion for Anna Delvey, even though I expected to detest her based on what I knew about the case. So that was really impressive that um, as an actress, Julia Garner, I always feel like I'm saying Jennifer Garner, but yes, Julia Garner, uh, even though, uh, you know, those are two very extreme emotions and I was able to feel both of them for this character as I was watching. Um, Initially, I thought, well, why don't they just make it a movie? Because it felt like this story could have been told in a, as a movie. But I'm actually good that they did make it a series because you really got to go in depth with the characters. You got to really get um, a better understanding of Anna as a complete person as opposed to the caricature that you know we know from the horrible things that she's done. Um, Another actor that really impressed me is Laverne Cox because this is the first time I've seen Laverne Cox play an actual woman where sexuality wasn't an issue. So that was wonderful that um, she was given that opportunity and that she did such a great job. And like other Shondaland shows, the music is everything. So that was a great compliment to a great story. It was also really cool to see so many um, actors from Scandal reappear. So um, to, see, to see them have roles in this show, but it really would have been cool if Kerry Washington would have popped up just to make the cipher complete. But overall, I really enjoyed this TV show that I thought could have been a movie and that wasn't exactly what I thought it would be because it wasn't exactly an exact retelling of Anna Delvey's life. But overall, it was really good and really entertaining and it was a fun ride. So um, I'm curious to see what you thought because it's number one on Netflix uh, the last time I checked. So I'm sure you've probably seen it or if you haven't, you should.